Howdy, folks. Well, the world hasn't ended. But that gut feeling's still there. But welcome back. It is cold, cold, cold. The wind is coming right from the west tonight. And we're only going to get one day of sun this week. That seems to be the norm. A lot of rain. I stopped and picked up some chicken grain on the way home, and grain keeps going up, folks. It does. Cracked corn is $16 for a 50-pound bag, folks. Gone up. But that's just a treat, and they get that sparingly, right? Usually I don't give it to them. This time of year, it's usually for the winter to to give them a treat because they just can't go very far, right? But they're all they're all in their coops and back run. I did let the three geese out because they go they go in their own little coop. I turned their the feed coop back into the goose coop, so they're content. They gave me two eggs today. So, let's talk about solar. It's not very cheap to, to get all hooked up anymore, right? It just isn't. And it doesn't do much good when you get mostly clouds. So, in the spring, it's nothing for us to go two weeks for a rainy spell. But this seems to be dragging on and on and on, folks. Here it is past mid-April, and it should be warmer than this. It should be sunnier than this. It shouldn't be as windy. But here we are, right? So anyway, I stopped and picked up some a couple of bags while I was going through by the grain feed store. I picked up two bags of chicken feed. And one of the, the grain haulers, I call them, that put it in the back of your vehicle, he asked me if I started my garden yet, because we've had this conversation about this time of year for a few years. And I told him, my garden is so wet, but I did put uh, one package of peas in, I told him I didn't even soak them because the ground was wet. But I haven't been to check them. So I asked him how how he was doing with his garden. He said he put his onion sets in. And I think he said he put his cabbage plants out. Because cabbage and onions, peas, carrots, beets, turnip, they, they can all handle the... And kale, spinach... Swiss Chad, they can all handle the cool weather. They can handle a little bit of wet ground, but I don't, I'm looking at my garden over there. I don't think they can handle that wet. But we'll see, we'll see. He said he's planted his, his carrots a few times, and his wife encouraged him not to be so eager and and wait a couple of weeks before he tries it again because they're just wasting seed, right? If you're going to plant it and they're, they're going to be washed down to the next county or they're going to sit in the dirt and rot, right? There's no sense in planting them. You're better off planting them a little late and getting them a little late in the season, right? Which is good for carrots and cabbage and all the, all the foods that you want to store longer into the winter, right? So, it is awful cold, folks. Now it's, now the wind is coming right from the south. But you know, I live out in the open here, right? I can see quite a ways around me in the sky. It's beautiful when we have thunder and lightning. It's just absolutely gorgeous here at night. Because you can see that lightning for, it seems like, miles. So, you know, if we start out, like, 
like this morning it was a little bit sunny right I was working so I was inside so I, I went in really early folks okay I, I like the job that I'm doing I could I could do by myself with a little interruption if I go in the middle of the night right so but my cousin Shay said it was sunny for a little bit and then you know we had this beautiful design in the sky with the jets going over right some of you know what I'm talking about well years ago before I lived here I started noticing that every time the jets went over in a certain pattern and and that stuff there putting out the back of the jets form clouds right and then later that day or the next day we get a lot of rain well it started to be a little bit too much of a coincidence for me so now that's how I tell the weather in, in all honesty that's how I, one of the ways I tell weather now if I see those crisscrossing of the jets going above then I know the next day or later that day it's going to rain. It has never failed, folks. It has never failed here. So, you know, I could go down a big rabbit hole, but I don't know too much about it. I just know how it affects me and how I can plan accordingly, right? So, if they are trying to really hurt our garden season, And it could be just the spring, it could be the sign of a, a weather pattern cycle, because we go through that, right? Or they could be doing intentional, it seems they're attacking just about every other food supply out there, right? So, I don't know how bad it's going to get, folks. Depends on who you listen to. Depends on how you rationalize it, but in the end, it is what it is. It's it's going to be what it's going to be, and we have to modify and adapt to the climate, right? We just have to do that if we're gardeners. So I can see if this pattern holds up, it's going to be a, a cold cold season, a wet season, and a cloudy season. Well, wet would be good in moderation, but we need sun. A lot of garden plants rely on the sun, right? If we don't have sun, it's less, less crop. So, I could sit all day and worry about that. Or I could get my butt in gear and try to figure out what I can do differently, right? Now, I'm not going to, I have a generator, but I'm not going to run my generator 8, 10 hours a day and, and put up grow lights. I'm just not going to do that. Gas is probably going to go up even more, right? The lowest I saw it was BJ's at $399.9. And the highest I saw it uh, was 4.23 a gallon, folks. A lot of places were 401, 410, 409, right there. So <clears throat> I'm not about to run my generator. Just not going to do that. And solar, if it's cloudy, uh, solar is not going to give you much of a battery bank, right? So what do you do? What do you do? Do you plant? What do you do? You plant accordingly? Do we think a little bit differently? How do we do this without that? Now down to, I was talking to Shelly. Uh, down to the local BJ's this week, they have 50 pounds of, of long white grain rice for like 20 bucks, 
21, 22, something like that. That's pretty cheap, right? Well, it could be cheaper. It could be cheaper, but I just spent, what, last week I bought 25 pounds for $14. So, add another 7 onto that and I could double that, right? Because over in China, right? That whole shipping over in the Taiwan port, that's not seemed to... It's not moving much, folks. We get a lot of rice from there. So, again, rice is basically a filler food. It's easy to see, easy to store. Put it in mylar, mylar buckets. Put some oxygen absorbers in there. Seal it up. Stack them up, right? Rice goes a long ways, folks. And it's pretty inexpensive to buy, even though there's not many nutrients, but you can probably get creative with rice. You might get tired of rice, but at least you can have some creativity with it. And my geese are acting a little strange. I've got two females and a male. When I came home, the, goo the male goose was way up the road all by himself, and the females are here in the yard. So I'm not really sure the geese are acting a little bit odd. Alright folks, this is way long enough. I'm just rambling. Um, you all have a good day. I love reading your thoughts and comments. And they're all worthy of thinking of, right? All the comments. Nice conversation. Okay. Have a good day, folks. I'm going to go in where it's warm. My ears are cold. Good night.